Hey guys, Silly here, and I had a big revelation about point fire slash hip fire recently that I just have to share with you. So, to make a long story short, I was playing Escape from Tarkov yesterday and I killed someone with a UMP. This is the exact UMP that this person was using. So as you can see, there's nothing extraordinary about this UMP, but here's where things change. I also recently equipped this black jacket on my USEC because I thought it looked cool and I like color scheming. So you can see I have the green face mask, it has the green gloves, this bag kind of goes with the green and it's a blackout outfit. But here's where the hip fire slash point fire part of the video comes in. I noticed that when using this UMP45 with this outfit on, specifically the gloves, my hip fire was a lot more accurate. And as soon as I realized what I was doing subconsciously to make that happen, everything changed. So I'm in labs, just as an example here, right? Actually, these statues are probably a great uh, idea for this. So let me turn on my tactical device. Um, because if you don't know, when you have a tactical device in Tarkov, whether it be a laser or something with an IR flashlight, and in this case, I'm using the D-Ball to increase my hip fire accuracy because tactical devices in Tarkov actually increase your hip fire ac accuracy significantly. And I, I'll actually, let's just show that off really quick. So if I turn the device off, right? Just shoot at this wall. So you can see that hip fire is kind of all over the place, right? Let's get a quick reload here. And let's turn on the laser. And just shoot right beside where we just shot. As you can see, night and day, right? The grouping of these shots is a tight circle and this one with the tactical device off and as you can see, if I move closer to the wall, you can kind of see the flashlight there. It's an IR flashlight, so it's very hard to see, which means you don't give your position away, which is really great. But uh, yeah, as you can see, this is a mess, right? This is like a whole mess here, and this is perfect. So let's get that out of the way first. Tactical devices, make sure you have them when you're hip firing, point firing. It is so much better. The next thing I want to talk about is something I realized using this outfit and this UMP. So let's start with the RK1 grip, right? The RK1 grip causes my PMC to hold my hand out to the side because it's tilted to the left, down to the left, the grip. So you can see my hand is kind of beside the gun and not underneath it, where if you use other grips, it would be underneath it, right? And you'd kind of be holding it vertically, but here my palm is, is mostly horizontal. Now I realized something quite interesting. If you line up the middle knuckle of my left hand with the green glove, and you also line up just about the top of my hollow sight, I can see exactly where my gun is pointing. And that's because my hand moves with the gun and so does the hollow sight, obviously. Let's line up with this statue here. You can see my middle knuckle, right? Is just in line with that statue. And my hollow sight is about head level. So if I zoom in here, and hold breath, look where I'm looking. Directly in the center of the statue's head, right? Let's go ahead, maybe even move back a little bit. Of course, with range and there is some wobble, it's gonna be a little harder to do. So if I line up my middle knuckle and my hollow sight with that statue there and then zoom in, look what happens. I'm looking at the head of that statue. Let's try it again with that glove, maybe even farther away, right? Look at that, perfectly at the glove. Now, how does this help you? Well, crosshair placement is a big thing in Escape from Tarkov and pretty much every FPS shooter out there. Now I have some background history in professional Counter-Strike and that's where I really learned the importance of crosshair placement. And the fact that your glove brings out, or these gloves brings out the knuckles so much, it makes, lining up your crosshair properly or making sure your crosshair placement is always ready to shoot someone who comes around the corner pretty easy say you're on laps you're 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 the chad of lambs right you come in you come into this room you're you're in the office area and bam 
Peppa Pig appears in front of you, all right? Now, previous to this tip, if you just have your IR flashlight on, you're kind of just eyeballing it, right? You're getting, you're pointing your barrel in, in, in the Peppa's gen general direction, but you can't be exactly sure where you're aiming. But if I line up my knuckle, let's even use that little circle there in the bottom right on that wall. If I line up my knuckle with that circle and line up my scope height, my holographic, right? Look at this, basically right on target. So when Peppa peeks around the corner, right? Oh, oh, hold on. Gotta reload your mag first, right? So when you're peeking Peppa, right? Look at that. Exactly where he wanted to shoot, right into that circle. You know, Peppa's dead. I'm sorry, it just is what it is. But in most cases, Peppa's usually a friendly entity and Peppa the pig will probably not engage you, but just in case, now you know. So anyways, guys, I hope you found this quick tip video useful and Honestly, the game feels kind of different to me now that I know this. I didn't really put two and two together until I was using these gloves and killed this guy with his UMP. So thank you to the guy that I murdered last night, and I hope you guys win those hipfire engagements. And if you do, let me know.